What is going on, everyone? Um, now let's talk about the game. Let's talk about uh, Kansas City Chiefs and uh, Baltimore Ravens. What in the world happened? Um, honestly, I, I couldn't believe that KC ended up winning. This whole week, I thought that Lamar and the Ravens were going to show MVP caliber stuff and put a beating to KC. On paper, um, Lamar, you know, he's had such a great MVP year. And with the 13-4 and record, I thought they were going to win it all. You know, I mean, Lamar's just had a, a, a phenomenal year, you know, just tearing it up. But let's highlight the things that messed up the Ravens. So the first thing is the penalties. And then the second thing is the mental toughness. Uh, they had a hard time getting it together when things were getting tough. Uh, you saw that one shot when uh, they showed uh, Lamar being frustrated as he threw down his helmet. Pretty much uh, time was winding down and he knew he was uh, he was just running out of time to try to get back to um, at least tie in the game. But Kansas City, Pacheco and Travis played a great game. Flowers, he played great, and on the other side of the coin, he was the reason that messed up the whole situation with uh, them trying to um, tie it up. So let's talk about some of the big plays here. On a fourth down situation, Mahomes, he threw to Kelsey to convert to a first down. Then moments later, Mahomes connected to Kelsey again on a man-to-man -man matchup in a corner route. That was a nice play. And then, of course, they immediately showed the reaction of Taylor Swift celebrating on his catch. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that corner route, a man a man, Kelsey had him all the way through, you know. Lamar Jackson, he had this one run. He saw the hole open up and ran for some good yardage. That was a good play, you know. That's uh, the dynamic quarterback that you're used to seeing. So let's talk about Lamar's athleticism. He was scrambling all around and then threw a 30-yard bomb straight to Flowers into the end zone. That was as good as it gets right there. Um, it's stuff like that that would get people excited um, if you had it if you had them on your fantasy football. Mahomes, there's one play he was scrambling around, which felt like he had a minute to just run around. And eventually he hit up Kelsey. Man, and that catch. That Kelsey made it was like matrix like he lunged and stretched out his arms and made such an amazing catch it was like he just lunged his body it was just it that was just uh crazy honestly just seeing him lunge like that I felt like I pulled a muscle you know um but Pacheco making that touchdown solid uh run straight through the middle to make it 14 to 7 he's been a great playmaker during the playoffs man Pacheco Good job. Good job, Pacheco. Kansas City defense batting down the ball out of Lamar's hands and getting the fumble. Great job by the defense. Any fumbles and turnover is going to make a big difference in the game. So there was this crazy play where Lamar threw the ball and got swatted in the air. Man, Lamar ended up catching his own ball and ended up running like over 10 yards. That was a good play. That was fun to see right there. But, um... The one play that was good by KC, Mahomes connected with Rice, and he ran it into a touchdown. But unfortunately, they uh, got called back for holding. Um, they ended up settling, I think, for a field goal or whatever to make it 17-7. But let's talk about the momentum change in the third quarter. Lamar was doing great. He was uh, making great short passes and, great, uh, and gaining yards, um, and they were just grinding their way down the field, you know? And then he threw this bomb to Flowers, first down and near the goal line. And this is where Flowers messed up. The dude, he decides to, you know, shove the defender while he was laying on the ground. He just shoves him, you know, and then he gets up and then um, taunts the ball and spins it on top of his head. Honestly, I mean, if you're, I know he's his rookie season. He's still learning stuff like that. He's got room to grow. But, um, you know, if he just rolled and got up, and just uh, went about his way, um, that would have been an easy touchdown, you know? I mean, um, that was a bad deal on, on Flowers. He shouldn't have done that. But lesson learned. Okay, let's get to probably the biggest play of the game. Lamar, he threw that short route to Flowers, 
and it looked like he was going to get the easy touchdown. Honestly, I automatically thought it was a touchdown. Easy touchdown. And then people were yelling touchback or fumble, and I thought, no way, you know? Uh, but once they showed the replay from another angle, that's when you clearly see that Sneed made a crazy defensive play of knocking the ball out of his hands when he uh, before right before he crossed the line and caused the fumble. Wow. Man, that's all I can say. When they showed it in slow motion, he went under there and then and then punched the ball out of his hands. I mean, thank goodness for a slow motion replay. I mean, honestly, I I wanted to call it a touchdown, you know, if I was a referee, but um but you know, that was that was crazy. Um and if they got that touchdown, they would have only been behind like 3 points, you know. That was such a big game changer. I mean, cuz cuz the momentum was going towards Baltimore's way, you know? I mean, um yeah, they had a chance to, you know, get close to tying the game. But the next thing that uh put a dagger into the Ravens game was um when he threw into the end zone and got intercepted. This is where you see Lamar lose his cool and throw down his helmet. You knew he was frustrated, you know, and couldn't um couldn't keep his composure anymore. But the rest of the game, you know, Ravens was only able to get a field goal. And overall, they just ran out of time and Casey ended up with the win. I honestly thought that um, Baltimore was going to win this, the whole thing. You know, I mean, everything on paper looked like it was going to happen that way. You know, it just looked like um, the Cinderella story type of thing. You know what I mean? Like it's just a storybook. That's what I meant. You know, not like um, they were Cinderella or anything, but it just looked like uh, a, a storybook written for them. You know, it, it was uh, theirs for the taking. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Were you guys rooting for Kansas City? Were you guys rooting for Ravens? Uh, do you think there was any bad calls that would have um, allowed Baltimore to win? But, you know, throughout the whole game when I was watching it, you know, um, KC just held their composure. They didn't do a lot of penalties. Um, and they got just enough points to be ahead and um, and keep Baltimore behind them. And, um, and Baltimore just couldn't uh, get things rolling enough to, you know, to beat them. But anyways, leave your comments down below.